I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. Mother Nature refuses to cut us a break. This morning, members of an Orange County Highway Department work crew were back at work at a familiar spot, LaRue Road in the town of Chester. They were shoring up an area where overnight rains once again washed out a section of that road. The crew members say continuing rain is making it tough to do needed road and bridge repairs in the wake of tropical storms Irene and Lee when additional rainfall creates more damage in places they've previously visited. The last month or so has been really crazy for the county. Uh, our boss, Louis Casino, has been really busy trying to fix the roads and all the washouts and bridge embutments that are all gone. And we're just actually trying to go around and clean them up and fix them. We didn't even get to blacktop them yet. We were supposed to blacktop today, and then all of a sudden we had another rain, and this road was closed this morning. All the rocks and debris were in the middle of the road. We had to come up here first thing and clean it all up. The latest flood-related trouble spots include the town of Warsing, where a bridge collapsed uh, early this morning uh, at Oak Ridge Road. Now keep checking back here at Record Online for the latest information on the region's weather-related damage. FEMA is continuing its efforts to help those in our area who've been impacted by the recent flooding. A mobile office has been set up at New Windsor Town Hall to assist affected homeowners with the necessary paperwork. The trailer will remain at the New Windsor location through tomorrow. The Federal Emergency Management Agency will park an emergency assistance trailer at Provident Bank in Ellenville Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. That'll be open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Meantime, word has come that uh, Orange County is now eligible for federal assistance from Tropical Storm Lee. That money will help uh, the county with debris removal and repairs to disaster damaged facilities. The Ellenville man who was accused of dragging a state trooper along Route 17 after getting pulled over a year ago near Wurtsboro has pleaded guilty to the felony charge of second-degree assault. 29-year-old Jason Jeter had been stopped for tailgating, but while uh, Trooper Kenneth Boris was verifying his registration, Jeter slammed on the gas. Now, while Boris was uh, being uh, dragged, he fired off a shot, wounding Jeter. Jeter is expected to get a prison sentence of five and a half years as part of the plea agreement. Agreement. An area high school principal says it's another tragic example of why we need to try to keep talking to teens about safe driving. 17-year-old Daniel Garcia of Port Jervis, a menacing Valley High School student, was killed Tuesday evening when the car he was in slammed into an oncoming car while attempting to pass another vehicle at a high rate of speed. As that was happening, a teen driving forum was being held at Pine Bush High School. Principal Aaron Hopmayer uh, was among those trying to get through to teens there and their parents as well. They're driving with text messaging, they're messing with the radio, their friends are in the car, their cell phone rings. These are distractions that a lot of us didn't have when we were younger. In addition, you live in a country setting, so the roads are a little more narrow, a little more windy, you have deer running out, less headlight, you know, less street lights. So the reality is there are different conditions that are prevent, present today that may not have been around you know, when I was growing up. So the reality is the more education we can give kids, the better it is. And whole kids need to be responsible. They need to understand that they're driving a vehicle that can and will cause serious physical injury to other people, if not themselves. Garcia's friend, 16-year-old Christian Thomas of West Town, the driver of the car, was listed in serious condition at Westchester Medical Center. Grief counseling centers uh, had been set up at Menacing Valley High School. In Sullivan County, a woman has been charged with endangering the welfare of a minor after her two-year-old child was discovered on the shoulder of Route 55. County Sheriff's deputies say an officer on patrol spotted the toddler wearing a diaper and t-shirt standing alone along Route 55 near Kaniunga Lake. The child's mother was uh, later found at a residence nearby. 24-year-old Sonia Pena has a November 7th a court date in the town of Bethel. They were stating their opinions in no uncertain terms, saying they're fighting for the future of the Minnesink Valley. More than 100 people turned out at Minnesink Town Hall Wednesday to protest the planned $43 million natural gas compression station that would be located off Jacobs Road. Rally organizers want political leaders to push for a full environmental review of the project proposed by Millennium Pipeline Incorporated. Company officials say the compression station would generate $230,000 in yearly property taxes. Opponents say uh, they are worried about potential environmental impacts and declining property values. 
And it's the latest step in the push to revive a local landmark in the city of Newburgh. A ceremony was held Wednesday to celebrate the completion of the box office of the Ritz Theater on Broadway. A $200,000 grant from Urban Initiatives, a state housing uh, program, paid for the work. The lobby was uh, previously restored and a series of live events are held there, but the ultimate goal is to line up sufficient funding to restore the theater itself at an estimated cost of $12 million. Theater's executive director is hoping to open it by 2014. In its heyday, the Ritz and Newburgh helped launch the careers of a number of performers, including Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Cooler, more fall-like weather will move into the area this weekend. Tomorrow will be partly sunny and warm, with the highs uh, in the low to mid-70s. Now, Saturday will be mostly cloudy and cooler, with the chance of a shower. Temperatures not getting much higher than 60 degrees. Stay on top of breaking news here at Record Online, and for a complete roundup of all the day's events, pick up tomorrow's edition of the Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.